Jeremy Pena to lead off the third for the Astros. They lead 2 0. Getting a pair in the second against Aaron Nola. And Nola, who fired Pena a bunch of breaking pitches when he saw him earlier this month. Shot down the line to the right field corner. Extra bases for Jeremy Pena to open the third. It's a leadoff double for the rookie. Right now, his aggressive approach, he sees the ball and he tries to hit the ball. And that's why I was a little surprised again. Spin didn't come out of the hand of Nola. Tried to beat him with a fastball away. You see that flat bat and the ability to go where the pitch is thrown. Right now, he feels like he's not only not a rookie, but he's been here and played in the playoffs well beyond his years. The rookie's hitting above 500 against hard stuff in this postseason. He got a breaking ball, and the Astros waste no time. Two pitches into the game, 1-0 Houston. What a catch there by uh, Segura as that ball gets by Sosa. Back-to-back -back doubles from Altuve and Pena, and it's 1-0 like that. Well, you know what? The Astros have this internal kind of like, we're going to show up even though they've had a lack of success at home in the World Series. And part of yesterday taught them one thing. You can't stop scoring runs against this Philadelphia Phillies team. And they came out with a little bit of a let's get on top of the fastball quick or first pitch quick. Two pitches, one nothing. Man, what a response for these Astros. 13 out of 14. First pitch strikes for Verlander, which makes it surprising that he's then walked four. Ties a career high in the postseason. It is 35th postseason start. That's a pick! That's short by Jeremy Pena. Wow. That's probably the best ball that Nick has hit in a while. I mean, squared it. 105, John. Yeah, and Pena was like, whoa. Do I got it. Ball was changing directions as he was jumping. He did every bit of that six foot frame. The 25 year old rookie, the first rookie shortstop ever to win a gold glove. Shows you why. Alvarez on deck. Not going to see him a second time. Connor Brogdon's ready for him. Syndergaard trying to finish with an exclamation. Instead of fly ball to left, it sends Schwarber back onto the track at the wall. He's done it again. He's given the Astros a 2-1 lead in game five. After 22 home runs during the regular season, his fourth of the postseason. Shovel in the snow did him well. Why are he strong now? Ends the night of Cindergard. It gives the Astros a 2-1 lead. Jeremy Pena, the rookie, looking like anything but a rookie and a youngster. Ready for the moment when he's got the Astros back in front. On this 1-0, Pena grounds one through, base hit center field. Altuve heads for third. Veerling's throw comes into second. Astros have him cornered. <laughs> and for the third time in six games in this World Series, it's Jeremy Pena putting the finishing touches on a Philly starter. Right up the middle. Seems simple, but not a lot of guys can do it. Speed on the bases. Pressure on the Phillies now. Trying, the Astros trying to answer. We have uh, one more trophy to hand out. The Willie Mays Most Valuable Player presented by Chevrolet. Um, can we have Jeremy Pena? Right here. That's all yours. 